what is going on everybody it is rated we are here with another tutorial on my youtube channel we're bringing it back we're going to do as much as we possibly can if you guys have not been following check out my twitch.tv slash creative rated i've been streaming a lot been doing portfolio reviews designing talking teaching whatever you want to do if you want to get all the updates make sure you're looking up my twitter at creative rated and stay tuned for as much more as we possibly can. Turn on those notifications, those little bells, and you'll get all of the new tutorials from me. Now today, we're gonna do something pretty cool. We are in Illustrator, so for people that aren't too familiar with Illustrator, this is gonna kinda give you a little bit of an idea of how what some of the things that you can do with Illustrator, right? So, this is kind of the effect that we're going for. There's a lot of merch, designs and it's called uh, puppet mesh or meshing envelope warping whatever you want to call call it it's you know many different names and there's definitely a million different types of effects so today we're going to start with this type of stuff and I want to show you guys uh, a million different ways that you can do this so first thing I'm going to do so we're going to keep this here and we're going to make something a little different right just to show you how to start this so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to Start with your typeface, right? So we'll use, uh, we'll use Spectre, which is a typeface you can get on selfi.com uh, to my store, which will be in the link in the description. Um, and we'll just type in rated is bald. And that could be our type, right? So the first thing you're going to want to do, highlight it, select your stroke at black, fill as none. And that what this is going to do so I increase the size. This is going to give you an outline of any type that you want. Obviously, my typeface, if you buy the full version, does come with the outline. Um, but if you want to just buy a regular one, this is how you can do it and achieve the same effect. So you just simply do that. Uh, make whatever size you want. Uh, then you're going to go to Type, Create Outlines. So what this is going to do is, is it's going to create full outlines for the type and it's going to make them shapes essentially instead of one text uh, grid right now unfortunately this is all strokes this isn't the actual filled path so in order to make it like that to make a path like that you are going to select your type again object expand and you're going to want to keep the fill in the stroke checked and hit ok and what this is going to do is, is it's going to make the stroke the actual path instead of just the inside. Now there's many different ways you can achieve the same type of thing. Like I said, if you buy certain typefaces, you can do whatever. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some transforming. Okay, so if you go, go to your effect, distort, transform. Now what this is going to do is, is you're gonna be able to make a million different of these copies of these types of things within the transform effect, right? You're gonna come up with this little um, thing here and make sure your preview is on and say we'll make 15 copies, right? So your scale, you can go wide, right? Or you can go vertical, right? And this is kind of how you scale certain some of the stuff. Move, I'm gonna move everything, we'll do one copy just to show, right? So if we do vertical, right? And if we do two, it's going to keep doing the exact same th thing, right? And it's going to give you a multiple amount of copies of these, ty these types of uh, things. And you can just keep clicking your preview. Now this is what I'm gonna do, is I have it at 28 pixels, which is gonna give me a nice little space here, give you seven copies, and all we did is just hit the move vertical, and you hit okay. Now what that's gonna do is, is it's just duplicating, but this is still everything that you need in there. So what you're going to do is hit Object, Effect, Expand Appearance, and it's going to make everything uh, a layer as well. Now what I do after this is, is something that you don't have to do, but I do it just for the main effect. I make a little bit of a rectangle around here. It's kind of a bounding box. I take off this, um, the fill, hold, I select both of these, right click, make clipping mask and it's going to create a clipping mask to where if I wanted to oops, sorry this is the wrong layer and when I start warping if I wanted to go outside of the bounding box it won't let me it's going to keep it perfectly square now you can take that away you can do anything you really want with it as long as you just pull down the clipping mask so we're going to click and pull down the clipping mask and go to rectangle 
and then instead we're going to click our group. Now you can't see it on my side because my camera's here, but on my layers panel, you'll in your layers panel it'll be clip that it'll clip group and you just hit the arrow to bring it down, and then you'll see rectangle and group, and all you have to do is highlight your group, and then we're going to go object envelope distort and make with mesh. Now what the, the reason I do the envelope mesh is because I want to create a grid system and to preview it is you're going to create this crazy grid system already. I usually do anywhere from uh, four to six rows and four to six columns. Uh, I'm going to do five and five here just because I think it's a smaller application and you just hit OK. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make you let you able to really control your warping in certain areas. So you're going to click your direct selection tool, which is your little white arrow. Click a certain or a, one of the points and start pulling your warp around. You can start pulling warps in, warps out. You can start doing all these different types of things to where your warps are, you know, you can pull out of certain things, inside certain things. And we're just doing this, no plan, no actual composition that I'm trying to make. Just see what happens. Once you're okay with it, you hit your direct selection again, and it's kind of back into where you want it, right? And if I didn't want this rectangle, all I'd have to do is take the eye and turn it around. And you can make this really cool uh, little uh, thing. Now, you can put type over You can do all those type of things. This is really common in the... Uh, you know, the merchandise area, it's a really cool effect and it's something that you can, you know, uh, do a lot of. And it's fun, for sure. So that is the other, that's one way we can do it. I can see many different people using these and it's amazing to see what people can do with them as well. Second thing we're going to do is, is kind of a, uh, the same thing, but we're going to do it with more of an object instead of type. So we're going to make, I don't know why I have a gray box, but make a black rectangle, it doesn't really matter the size or the width, whatever you feel is, you know, perfect. Again, we're going to follow the exact same or steps, effect, transform, and you're going to bring up your menu. Now, obviously, I have this at 28 pixels. We may want to bring this in a little bit, right? Maybe like that, and maybe we want to do five copies, right? And make them real spaced out. Right, or maybe we want five copies at 25. Maybe we do 10 copies. And we do them really, really skinny in, and we'll make a rectangle at 24 pixels and hit OK. Again, select object, expand appearance, and you're going to get this awesome thing again. Hit Command or Control G to group them, and you're going to do the exact same thing. Object. Actually, before we even do that, let's do let's encase it in a rectangle, right? We're gonna take that off. Make sure that you, you have these pretty perfect. Select both of them, right click, and make clipping mask. Again, very it's a very similar thing you can do with a million different shapes. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. I know you guys are gonna do some really cool stuff with this. And once you're done with that, same thing. You want to drop your clipping layer in your layers menu, uh, menu with your arrow. Instead of clicking your rectangle above, you click your rectangles below. And you go Object, Envelope to Store, Make with Mesh. Now, again, I have five. Now, because this is a little bit uh, steeper, I'm going to probably go with six and hit OK. And then we're going to go really, really crazy. So you can do something very... out of the ordinary with the more that you do with this type of stuff. Um, I've seen so many people do some some really, really gnarly looking things and get away with these really cool um, effects. And I think that's a, uh, a really, really good thing to, uh, to explore with. Now I'm going to take off this just so I can get a cool effect without it always selecting that, right? And what you're going to do here is you're going to start to see that there's going to be really, really interesting things that you see happen. And then you're going to, the more that you start to do these types of things, you'll start to get a little bit more of a gauge. 
be able to come up with the really, really cool lines, right? So for me, it's not wicked enough. So we got to go back in. Make some more tweaks to this. Do some crazy cool stuff. I think we got something going on here. And then we just clip that over. And now you got a really, really cool background to do something with, right? You can do some more clipping masks over these types of things. There's a million different things you can do, right? So this is puppet warping, the envelope warping. Um, please let me know what you guys want to see. If you want any more tutorials on Illustrator, if you guys want any more tutorials on Photoshop, InDesign, anything you guys want. More packs will be coming. Please always check out the Twitters, check out all of my social links that are be below. It has been awesome. I have been rated. You guys have been amazing. Thank you guys.